All right, welcome back to the channel. This is now the first stages of removing the top layers, which are probably uh, more of a grime. Usually the paintings are um, varnished when they are actually created or a period after they've dried. But I fe feel that the layers here indicate some surface grime that has been left on the surface. So it's a question of really removing the layers. So with a mild detergent, I commence the process very gently, and you can see already there's a yellowy grime coming off here. Now I'm not going on the facial areas because if there was a horrible reaction to, for some reason, this was painted in a, a manner which was unstable, it would be very, very difficult to reverse the process. So it's better to start off, as you can see here, I'm just using a mild detergent. Um, these are conser conservation detergents, so um, it's not the normal household detergent, so please don't do this on your own. I've been trained to do this over the years. It's really important not to just go out and clean a painting with a bit of a you know, household detergent. But you can see here it's quite thinly painted throughout. So it's important not to in any way um, over clean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move around this painting in the next couple of hours and gradually make a decision on what the best method to clean this. I actually think looking at it here, it's quite thinly painted and probably I will have a little go here at the white areas. White is usually a less um, volatile or more strong color and as a result it's easier to clean these areas without any likelihood of removing the paint. You can see here there's a layer of grime and dust that's coming off. Over the years pictures hang in houses with furniture um, you know, and, and candles and all sorts of soot from fires. In Ireland you get thing called turf smoke but you can see here this is quite a nice white color here. This will come up really nicely. Um, I'll keep going along with this the next couple of hours and I'll shoot back in and out in the video and then you can actually get a bit of a progress report as we move forward. This will clean up quite nicely. I'm just using a, a mild detergent here just to show you the cleaning and this will clean up to have a very very different look to what it has now. Please like and subscribe and follow me on my channel and I'll show you the progress of unveiling this 200 year old portrait. Thank you.